Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So now we're in the process of producing these advanced circuits. So let's have a look at what we've so far achieved, which isn't that much, but so we're looking here. We should have now, um, what did I want from in here? Can't remember to be honest with you. So what I do want to do is to, to start to get this sieving again. I think it's time to get some more moon rock let's just remove that she's already in there isn't it let's just have a look in itself yes i think i need some more moon rock being sift and i think i also want to turn off yeah we need gold and stuff like that don't we at least liquid gold so we've got these 64 lapis plates and we're getting some lithium ingots let's go down and have a look at how we're doing with that and we also need to do make see how the rubber's getting on so let's have a look over here. Oh, that's a bit strange. Why am I not getting lithium blend? Let's have a look at the recipe for the lithium blend. Oh, it's got the same recipe as lithium ingots. That's uh, one of the other things. I have. look at the recipe. Prove that. Look at the recipe for this one. If we actually go backwards. 12, 4, and 1. Phosphorus. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so I can't make, do much about that. I think it's a random choice of which one it's going to pick. I'm going to have to ask that to be fixed. So let's have a look at the rubber. Oh, we've got plenty now. We've got 64. We need 64, I think, because one of these makes one rubber. So let's now go and convert this into balls. What have we got in here? That's very strange that I don't get it at all. One in the middle? No, one on the top left. Yep. Now that's going to take some time to do because. Ah, of course. Yes, I've taken away this. That's not going to help at all. Let's go and put back. Have I got one with me? No. Now I think this one does work. Let's hope it does anyway. Let's just get the. Oh, I need a server, don't I? Have I got a server in there? Yes, I have. In fact, let's just take an ordinary servo. That's a filter. Let's make a new servo. I think it was the server that was the problem. Oh, what am I missing? One <laughs> ending? No way. Oh, wow. Are a bit of a nuisance outside at the moment, making a lot of noise. So, what I want to do is put it down here. So, I've got to make a little bit of a hole, haven't I? So, I can get in here, put down an item duct, and hopefully, I can reach this, which I can, and just enable that. And that should start to give us some. Also, Robert, let's have a look. Yes, that looks like that's working. Good. Now, the next thing I want to do with this is to see whether or not we can actually get a little bit more, well, a bit more automation. Because the automation in this pack is always a good thing. So, what I'm going to try and do is now I would like to automate this because this is a faff to get stuff out, but I can put an import bus on here so basically we put the balls in here to melt them to rubber then the rubber can go into the system so let's just see if i've got another import bus two good let's put one down on that like that and that should simply connect in ah oh, yes i'll have to remove this one because of the because of the toggle bus here hmm i suppose that's okay in fact we can do we can always empty this out with the other stuff anyway with the tube with the refractory blocks Let's have a look. We can always put things into these into these items over here. So that's not so bad. So now, what do I want to do? I want to get and go and get some of these balls. And hopefully, 25. That's actually working quite nicely. As it happens, I didn't expect that. 
This is something strange. My video frame rate has gone back to being reasonable again. So that's getting... Alright, we need to turn on this. And hopefully that'll actually get exported. It is good snooper. So we need a bucket of that. Melted rubber. So we'll look. Have we got any... Oops, wrong one. Oh, we've got plenty. So if I now select this one... Is that yes, liquid rubber? Put the bucket in there. It's not coming out. Oh. How are we going to put this into the interface here? If I can't put a bucket in. I wonder if I can do it through these refectory things. If I can't, that's going to be a, a bit of a pain. So what I basically want to do is push that into here like that. Oh, it works fantastic. Good. Phew. So now we've got rubber coming in here, uh, which is great. So all we now need to do is put some copper cable, copper wires in there. So we should have 64 copper wires. It's called cable, isn't it? If I remember rightly, cable. Yes, we've got plenty of cable. And that should make... Now we need three stacks of this, don't we? Something astronomical. I think it's three stacks. We do need three stacks of copper. Hmm. So I can put the 64 in here. I have to shift to click it from here. And that's going to make these. They're going to come into here like that. And look at all this gold. <laughs> Let's take that gold and put it into the actual... into the system for when we want ingots and the like. I can't do it from there, can I? It would be better if I did it elsewhere. So now I can put this rubber back into here like that. I wonder if I should actually keep it, keep a bucket on there, just so I can actually put it into the system at any one time. So, methylene is basically coming through into here. So I can reach it, which I can. I've got 900 and odd. So we can put some more stacks of that in into this uh, chest up here. Oh, I've got plenty of stacks in it. And that's actually working nicely. I've got too much carbon in here as usual. So let's take out a load of carbon. If we work from the bottom here. Yep. And then here I've got a, a put off thing of carbon. I put a cache for carbon. So we carry on going. We could remove all of the carbon. We do need carbon, of course, but we don't need as much carbon as being produced. There we go. Like that. So we should have another good number of 38 nuggets. And we can actually, I think I've already got that made, haven't I? Yes, I have. So we can basically put the, no, oh, put them in the right place. I just shift them in here. I can't I can automate this of course. But the question is, is it actually worthwhile doing that? See I've got another 39 in here, which should give me the 64 that we need for the first set of circuits. And the circuits are also very expensive. So it's into this one, isn't it? Nope, it's this one. And they melt nicely and quickly and we're getting infant in coming in here and sure enough we're getting them coming out there let's remove the gold and put the rest of the gold away i'll do it the quick way this time because i've got my quick gestures let's put them over there like that in fact we've got 40 let's take those now and see if we can make the circuits Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make 64 circuits, but maybe I just wait a bit and let that set finish off. In the meantime, let's go downstairs again and get the more rubber. I think we should be more rubber made now, but we can do it like, like this. I wonder if we've got any 532. Right, that's about four. Oh, I've got quite a few stacks actually. And you can see as soon as you come here, the decomposer is working away like crazy, which is fantastic. So that should actually have enough. Go the long way around. 
So the rubber does take quite a long time to get made, go through all these different processes. Basically it's waiting on butane, That's, but at least it's working. And I didn't have to restart anything for that to work, which is also very nice actually. Can I reach this one? Yes. So basically it's just this machine which is actually being a... It can't go any faster because of the hydrogen. The hydrogen is coming from the decomposer here. And that's already got one speed and stack upgrade. We could put another speed upgrade in it actually. If you can hear that there's action going on downstairs. In fact, we've got quite a lot of stuff in there. Could remove it. Let's do that and take it upstairs. Oops. I think I cleaned this one out just a while ago because I was just... Oh, there's still quite a bit coming. I wish that was happening to my mob spawner at the bottom, aren't you? Um, no, here. Hopefully, what I'm hoping for now is we have the amount that we need for the rest of the process. Yep, 23. So that's now empty of both kit. Yeah, that's perfect. So those wires have done. And of course the rubber's all gone out into that machine anyway. So let's put these away now. Now we should be able to automate. I think I automated circuits last time, didn't I? Yes, we did. So now this takes, I think it takes three. It's three pair, isn't it? So we, and we make two. So if I'm not mistaken, we've got 63. That's about 40 we can make. Let's see if we can make 40. And we're missing 10 blocks of redstone. And we've got 60 there. So we can actually make slightly more. So let's take the redstone. Oops, have I got no redstone in? Oh, of course it's not craftable. But we can make this craftable, so let's do that as well. Yep, I need another recipe as well. Let's just clear that off. I need a pattern. Let's make some more patterns while we're here. I can make two. Then we run out of other bits and pieces. So let's make a block of redstone. Actually, that's a crafting pattern, so we put that into crafting mode. And you notice we get the Lindsay Sterling crafting pattern, like that. Now we can do this, and we can take this downstairs. Because I have got that already set up, haven't I? So, and that's actually good, because then, then we can... I think I've got it set up. Yes, we have. We just put that into this ME interface here like that. And then we should be able to craft those 40 circuits that I want. That's going to take quite a long time to produce those, but uh, you get the idea. So let's have a look, 40 circuits. Now, this time it uses 90, so that's fine. Let's start that process going. We should be able to see downstairs it's crafting it's crafting uh, redstone in here. If I'm fast enough. Oh, it's already done it by the looks of it. It's already finished. Nothing going on in there. Okay, good. So that means that they're going to be activated into the assembly room. Nothing yet. Let's go and check what's actually going on then. Let's come to the crafting table here and then click this. Oh, it says it's crafting 40 circuits. Ah, yes, of course. I haven't enabled the circuits on here. Which is a shame. That's the bit you can't do automatically. And I suppose the way to automate that completely would be just to have an assembly table or several assembly tables, which we could do. It wouldn't be a big deal because these lasers will attach to multiple um, assembly tables whenever what is ever needed. So that's not impossible to do. 
but that's looking that's looking quite good. In fact, what I think I will do is I'll remove these items from in here that I'm not going to planning to use. It looks like two of those, doesn't it? Because that was to make a was it to make it was to make a one k. Um, was it making a one a one k uh, storage? Which I think is probably a bit expensive at the moment. So I don't know. Oh, in fact, let's take them out of there. Oh, in fact, let's not. Let's put these back in. Let's put these into the system. Yeah. So circuits. We don't need those in there, do we really? I don't need this glowstone block and this lithium ingot. Let's go and see how we're doing downstairs now. I'm hoping that we're going to get enough of these. I'm not going to be able to finish this this episode by the looks of it because it's going to be far too slow. It's just one of these things that you have to just process. Well, we've got another 31 uh, rubber. Let's take that with us. We can at least get this started because that costs 5 million RF per per rubber. It's, they're very expensive, these circuits. And we're, we're doing nicely in that. We've got 36 billion. So these, these two uh, sterling generators are working pretty well considering. Now probably I should update this to have another uh, another laser plus. The difficulty is what I'd like to do is uh, is to make these efficiency four, but somebody said that the efficiency four was uh, didn't work properly. So sticking another efficiency three on there might be the solution. So right, rubber. Let's put these into this machine and then take whatever balls we've got left out of here. We should have actually I'll and now I'll leave it till we get a stack. Which we will get a stack because I can see it from there. 30 38 plus 38 is 76, isn't it? So so what we need in here now is some wire or cable. So another stack of that will do nicely. And then from that we should be able to take not quite yet got a stack of balls. We need to wait. I'll wait for a stack of balls, then we can do the whole lot in one go. But in the meantime, let's put these into here like that. It's funny you have to go to that. You can't do it from your hot bar, you've got to do it from your inventory before it actually goes into the right place. Right, good silicon plate. So what's going on in here? Anything or nothing. At the moment I've got some more stuff prepared, some carbon plates and some dash ingots. So I've got plenty of dash at the moment. Let's take those out of the system here and then because that basically comes from the redstone furnace as well. In fact we might as well get on and start some of these um, advanced circuits. I'm not sure that I'd like to process it automatically. It might be nice to do it actually even though I know we've got to make circuits and the rest of it, which is going to be... Yes, I think that's not a bad idea. So what we need to make at least one or the, or the ingredients of one, don't we? Which I think we've probably got now. So let's have a look in here for advanced circuits. I can remove the patterns. I do need more patterns, but... For the time being, we can live without it. So that's the recipe. Oh, it's in the assembly table. Okay. Well, so that's a, then a process, isn't it? Okay, so let's come in here and then do that as a process. So we need circuits. Oops. We need two of those. What else do we need? Oh yes, lapis lazuli plate. That one. And we need a block of lithium, which we, uh, it's not lithium, it's luminum, isn't it? So we're actually getting a reasonable amount of this stuff coming through now. Let's take what we can, Look at that sort.
I need to put this through the redstone furnace. At least it's going through the redstone furnace. It comes out in the chest, of course. It's going through fairly fast. I really should be able to uh, automate that a bit better, shouldn't I? doesn't finish the first well it's just about done the stack isn't it so let's go and convert these into a block so we've got 10 blocks that'll do for the recipe so let's do that then so we need two patterns Not putting in two for me. Ah, yes, it needs to be a process, doesn't it? Not a. That's better. One lapis lazuli plate and one block of. Lithium should make. Ah, we haven't done one yet. We have to do one. Let's do that as well. So. Two of those, one of those, and one of those should allow us to do this advanced circuit which will come in next how much um, do you know i don't know how much power that's there to make let's have a look see if we can figure it out so it's about 60 million in fact it's the same as the uh, electronic circuits just different and as soon as we get actually well it won't come into here will it so we'll have to wait for that to come into the system itself and then we can put finish off that recipe. I've got to smelt all this. I'll do that off camera anyway, I think. I wonder how many seeds we've got at the moment. Look at those. 16,000, uh, 1,600 seeds. 30 squats. I probably do need to get some more of these made. Uh, what's the recipe for that one? Oops. Just click there, then you can press the recipe on it and you'll find it. So that's subsurface rock. Okay, good. Um, right, what am I waiting for a circuit, wasn't I? We should have one now. We have, good, fantastic. So we can then put that into this recipe block here. I'll say that's our recipe. That's going to take it over here and bring it out put that in oh, I could you know I don't need to do it there I can do it over here look because here I've got this and the assembly table I can say okay let's put that one in oh I need the pattern don't I I can put this pattern in here like that and it tells us what it needs so then we should be able to automate that process so let's say we need um, circuits let's make two of those we got everything. Uh, no crafting CPUs are available because we're still making electronic circuits. And when those are finished, we should be able to do it. So let's have a look at how many we've got to do. The, the way to get around that, of course, is to create a second um, CPU. Now, I think I've got a second CPU in here, haven't I? Can we see a CPU? A crafting storage. ME storage. I don't see one in there. Maybe I put it in different chest. Doesn't look like I can see anything in there either. Or there. Bit of a mess that lot. Do I not have any more crafting storage? Doesn't seem as though I have got any more storage. Let's see. Look. Oh, hold on. Yes, I thought I had some more crafting storage. What do we have to do to make a coprocessor? Let's have a look at that one. Coprocessor. Let's look for a processor. That's the store crafting coprocessor. 
That's actually not too difficult. A crafting storage. Should be able to make one of these. Well, nearly. So what we need to do is make some more stuff. I, I'll do that off camera. I think there's no point in doing that on camera. It's fairly straightforward. It's a standard recipe. And we've got all the bits, just a few more iron ingots. Wonder where the rest of them disappeared to. Could even set up a recipe for that, couldn't I? So the last bit in there was just some cable, which we've made in the past anyway. It's a mini glass cable. I don't know whether I can make any. No, I'm short of the quartz fiber. I'm short of the quartz, unless I've got two in here. I thought I had a couple actually. Well, if I've got them, they won't be there anyway. So let's have a look. Where would they be? Nope, I don't see that says toggle bus, isn't it? She could we make a quartz fibre? Let's have a look. Oh, we can, good. Okay, we can make loads. Well, enough. Let's make six. So then we can actually make this. We can then make this. Oh, what happened? Oh, I didn't make the... That was daft. I didn't make the actual emmy glass cable so that would give me four i'll take a whole lot 24. i've run out of um that's interesting run out of pure certis fluid let's take some stacks of this make sure we've got some pure oh look, look at this what's pure stuff we've got in there and they'll grow nicely sorry where was i trying to make a co-processor wasn't i Right, still muffing around. Where's it gone to? That one? Nope. That one. Right, got it. Put one of those in there, and then we can get the next one like that. That was easier than I thought. Let's have a look. What is it it's still crafting? It's got crafting four to go. So that's not so bad. So if we go down here now, and we put in a co-processor which I can do by simply clicking this one on this like that, I think. And that'll make it a second processor. And then the th we can take this other co uh, this other processor over here and we can put it, we can put it anywhere we like, really. We'll put it on the end here. And then we should have two processors so we can make two things at once. And the one with the co-processor can share stuff. So let's have a look. Now, can we make our, let's check what we're up to. Oh, that's all finished anyway, so that's good. No crafting job. So let's have a look. Well, now we can actually make some more circuits. Let's craft ten of these. All right. So I'm missing one block of lithium block. That's brilliant. Okay, we'll do that anyway, which is because we've got the stuff and it should be already made, and it should already be in here. We've got yeah, stuck in half of ingots. Look at that. Oops. Let's put this into there while we're here. Get some more blocks. We'll get to as much as we can. Another 11, because we know we're going to use 64 of these at least. So now we should be able to craft 10 of these. Good start. So that should start in here. Oh, it's done it fine because it was already selected as a block here. So that, I'll leave that like that. And as you see, we've got 20 electronic circuits, 10 of those and 10 blocks of lithium, and that's going to produce our things. I think that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so all I've got to do now, is, all right, we've got to go downstairs, get some more rubber out of the system. Which we should have another, st oh, not yet a stack, huh? Have we run out of stuff? No, not there. Oh, we've got full of carbon again. Yeah, that's very difficult to deal with, and I don't know how to deal with that. There, there is one thing I'm thinking about doing, and that is to put some ME interfaces on these. So they basically then take the items out of the processors here, or out of the decomposers, and then we put them into the 
into the system and then we put them out as we need them. Now the trouble with that is it might fill up our ME storage system too much because these are small items and you could end up with a lot of small items. But I suspect that's the way I've got to do it sooner or later. That looks good. So that's, that should be working again now. Three. Yeah, that's not too bad. You've got three already. So this is the basic the process I've got to go to. I'm going to have to think about this because if I take these, for example, this is this works pretty good. I'm happy with this. You can put. See, I I, I took the tin out of one of those chests or caches that we got and put it into here. So we have spare spare tin. I could actually remove some of this bring it over here and put it into this end one here because this is the other one that uses tin to make the and that actually gets used up fairly fast as you can see we've got another four stack so that's that's working nicely I have to think about it I'm going to do that over the weekend if today's Friday and I'm recording this. Hopefully it's going to come out on around about Friday. I think it probably, at least in the week. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I wish you all the best. Until next time, bye for now.